Hello friends, you are watching C Programming Tutorial Classes brought to you by AngPro Training. And the topics for this class are strings, declaration and initialization of strings, string handling functions and some example programs. So first, what's a string? A string is a group of characters or a sequence of characters. So, in all our previous programs, uh, we declared and used variables having an uh, integer value or a character, right? A variable declared with char data type can hold a single character at a time. What if we want to store a group of characters? So, we use array to store the strings. So, string is a group of characters. Array can have a group of elements. So, we can use array to store the strings by making use of the char data type. So, when we declare the array, we should declare with it char data type so that we can store the sequence of characters in the array. String is actually an array of characters which is terminated by a null character. So, one of our previous videos I said like when you want to store the string inside an array, a null character which is a terminating character is automatically appended at the end of the string. If you want to store a string of 5 characters, you should declare the array having 6 size, having the index 6 because automatically it takes the last uh, because automatically a null character is appended making the character length to 6. By logically the size is 5, the slash n character is appended so for that we have to allocate a, a one more space. So C provides a set of built-in functions to manipulate the strings. So we can store the strings in the variables and we can also manipulate them using the ready to use built-in ready to use string functions. So that means we can actually perform some operations on strings such as joining of two strings, trimming the strings, counting the characters, etc. All the string handling functions are stored in the header file called string.h. So here we are using another a special type of header file along with studio con io called string.h which is which is a part of C library. So before using any string function, we should include the preprocessor statement hash include string dot h. So let us look at the some important string handling functions. String cat. So this is for string concatenation which joins these two strings. String copy which copies one string into another. String len which counts the number of characters in the cat in a string uh, that means it finds out the length of the string string lawyer which converts the string characters into lower case string upper which converts the lower case characters to upper case string reverse which reverses the given string so i'll start declaring the array uh, can which can hold a group of characters so for that i need this char variable so let us say i declare a variable called a name which can store uh, any person's name. So of size 10 that means I can have maximum of 9 characters. Right so this is okay. So there are two important uh, input output functions for handling strings. So that is called as gets and puts. Remember this? So gets function will get the string in. So it's enough to pass the variable name inside the gets function. When we use puts function, we can actually print it out. Right? So here I will tell, so let's save this. Control F9. Enter your name. So I'll put angpro. Your name is angpro. So this is how the gets and puts function work. Right, so now I don't want this. Instead, I'm going to show you some ex uh, string handling functions. Let us start with 
so combining the two strings so I will here use as name one comma name two enter name so this is for name one this is for name two so I will use concat function here which is string cat this is the function name so which gives you string cat of name one comma name two so look at your friend I have included the function inside the printf so we will get the result of this function inside here so this is the format string one uh, open parenthesis the first uh, string comma the second string both will be appended together both will be joined together when we use the string cat function right so here inside this I should have the percent yes right percent s stands for uh, the string right we, uh, we use percent d for integer percent f for floating percent s for the string let's run this enter your name I will tell and pro and I'll put a space here so space will also be counted as a character rather than another name training so concat is ang pro training so both strings are appended together I mean joined together and we have got it right so remember when you are using scanf function to accept the uh, characters as a string use this percent s in the scanf function because we are not using scanf so we didn't use the percent yes right so this is how we can use uh, the percent as character and the we have demonstrated the character string cat function here right uh, let us now try for the string string length function okay so it counts the number of characters string length so we don't so I made these two statements as a comment so this will not be executed I just uh, tell the user to enter name and I will find out the length of that name right so string length is equal to str len of name one so it will find out the number of characters in the variable name one so it returns the integer number so I have to have a person D here control F9 enter your name a and K P R O and pro string length is 6 that means it has 6 characters right so let us convert the input uh, inputted so let's convert inputted values into uppercase for that I need to have string upr and I will print it in the string so the function is string upr string upper control f9 enter your name a n k p r o so that is what we got we got the string into uppercase if we want to lowercase string LWR so the function name is LWR string LWR control F9 so I will insert the name in the uppercase now a n k p r o so it is converted into lowercase that is how we can perform well friends that's it for the class subscribe to our channel on YouTube like our page on Facebook, follow us on Twitter and join our group on LinkedIn. Thank you.